Go forward 100 meters. Stop. In 20 meters, take the left turn. Turn left. After 10 meters, turn right. Turn right. Drive forward for five meters. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Go forward, take left, forward, forward. In 200 meters, take a left. Your destination will be on the right. You have arrived. In my time, there was no such thing as smartphones. Lately, when I go out, I'm trying to talk to people who have their heads down in their phones. I used to talk to other passengers when on a long journey, stay to carry. But now I bring a book. The phone is great, mind you, for taking photographs like I do. I love getting my grandchildren together as it'll bring back memories in the future. I never had the chance when my boys were small. I only had a camera sometimes. Facebook, what's real? Everyone looks perfect. On the plus side, the old saying, it's a small world, fits today's world perfectly. We can keep in touch with those living far and wide easily. Hold on. Alexa, stop listening. Power off. I hate that bloody thing. What annoys me is the number of ads. Look up anything and you get bombarded with hundreds of ads on a similar topic. You realise how much they know and have stored about you. Do they know I've been looking up coffee docks on the moon? Oh, the kids spilled the cereal, getting their breakfast, 20. Look there, she is cycling to work, 40. She's getting a coffee, mammy needs coffee, 60. There's traffic and very annoying drivers on our journey home, 45. Crazy kid bouncing on tarpaulin, 30. Oh no, little Kevin fell off and cut his head. Cute face with plaster at the doctor, 95. There's Kira now, perched on the couch with T-A-G Paul the box. <laughs> okay. Facebook, boast book, all about the self, selfies, my perfect life, perfect me, trout pouts, selfies, but my takeaway, pictures of the present mountain Santi left, pictures of my birthday presents, pictures of my beautiful wife, my beautiful house, my beautiful car. How did we get here? You may find yourself living in the shotgun shack. In the hospital. In the hospital, it was them and us. Hospital was home for a lot of my childhood. You may find yourself in another part of the world. 
When I was young, many years ago, we came from a small farm, nothing to boast about. We had very busy days, even at a very young age. We lived over Granny's father's pub for a while in the town. Everyone knew each other. Mammy and Daddy had to get up early every morning to milk the cows. There was no machinery back then like now to do it in half the time. Mammy would have left a big pot of porridge on top of the aga cooker and my big sister would get us up for school. I was the hardest because I hated school. When I started school, I brought me big rag doll. My teacher said, don't bring that doll anymore. You came here to learn, not to play. I never stopped crying when she took her off me. It was a very bad start. I was a very happy child at home, always smiling. When my sister was crying, Daddy used to say, why can't you be like Tess? And then they'd tell him I was always crying at school. They were always telling tales on me. I hadn't got any sense. School wasn't easy for me, as my teacher always compared me to my sisters. I loved going out with Daddy. Mammy and Daddy were great parents, and I loved them very much. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. And you may find yourself in a beautiful house. No more leak and attached roof. It has to look at them and us. Oh, that's gone. Go for right. my bed. Having a sink in my bedroom. I thought it was that's like being right. in a hotel or a fancy boarding school. Flannel sheets in the winter. Cozy, cozy, cozy. Still using. Mam on the landing that night, putting the laundry away, singing. Here I go once again. Oh my, I thought you, I thought you remembered the words, sorry. Fine. Belonging. Knowing where I belonged. Neighbours chatting over the wall. Dancing in the garden. Singing. The Eurovision. Coming home from school through snow and sleet. Head down home to a blazing fire and a hot stew, safe and warm. With a beautiful wife, and you may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? <laughs> the days go by, water flowing underground. Into the blue again after the money's gone. Once in a lifetime, water flowing underground. And you may ask yourself, how do I work this? And you may ask yourself, where is that large automobile? I passed my driving test last week. I was shocked. Only driving 20 years. I did three tests over the years, but everyone knew I wasn't a great driver. Even me. But I passed my driving test last week. Shocking. And you may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful house. Behind the couch that was my bed, unfurling my life, my days, my ways to fit five by two. That'll do behind the couch, that was my bed. Anxiety crept with others' breath. In the darkness my thoughts grew shill, shrill while others tried to still. Behind the couch that was my bed, my own magnitude in other space bore heavy on me. Couldn't work. Time to move, find my groove and dreams of new adventures. And you may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful wife. Let the days go by, let the water hold me down. Let the days go by, water flowing underground. 
Into the blue again after the money's gone. Once in a lifetime, water flowing underground. We lived in Rahimi at the time. And this man, fondly known as the slop man on a horse and cart, came once or twice a week. He'd blow a whistle very loudly and shout, any old scrap? The excitement for us children was priceless because on the back of his cart he had all sorts, old toys, balloons for a penny. We'd collect pennies all week by doing chores. Same as it ever was. 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 I remember one morning in September when I was 12. My sister and I were ready to go to school and a friend of ours came to the door to walk with us to school through the fields. Daddy came to the door to see us off and he was telling our friend that her ponytail was so big that it was a horse's tail. We were all having a good laugh. It was a two teacher school and the master was not in that day. So the other teacher was keeping an eye on both rooms. Halfway through the morning, she came into our room and asked if my sister and I were there. She said that a neighbour was passing and he was giving us a lift home from school. We thought that it was strange as there were other kids going that way too. When we were driving home, every so often he would stop the car to speak to someone on the road. We were looking at each other, both thinking that everything was very strange, but we didn't say anything. When he pulled up to the house, Mammy came out and she was crying. Our worst fears were realised. Daddy was dead. Part of Seamus Heaney's poem, Midterm Break, always brings back that time to me. Do you want me to do the poem? Yeah. Yeah. I sat all morning in the, kill in the college sick bay, counting bells, killing classes to a close. At two o'clock, our neighbours drove me home. In the porch, I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his stride. And Big Jim Evans said it was a hard blow. The baby cooed and laughed and rocked in the pram. When I came in and I was embarrassed by old men standing up to shake my hand. And tell me they were sorry for my troubles. Whispers informed strangers I was the eldest, away at school, as my mother held my hand in hers and coughed out angry, tearless sighs. At 10 o'clock, the ambulance arrived with the corpse, staunched and bandaged by the nurses. Next morning, I went into the room. Snowdrops and candles suited the bedside. I saw him for the first time in six weeks, paler now, wearing a poppy bruise on his left temple. He lay in a four-foot box as in his cot. No gaudy stir scars, the bumper had knocked him clear. A four-foot box, a foot for every year. Go sun, go down to the water And see the women weeping there then go up into the city, the men they are weeping to. This is a weeping song, song of which we sing. While all the women are sleep, this is a weeping song, but I won't. 
Father, why are all the women weeping? They are all weeping for their men. Then why are all the men there weeping? They are weeping at, at them. This is the weeping song. A song in which to weep While all the little children sleep This is a weeping song But I won't be weeping now No, I won't be weeping now No, I won't be weeping now Hi, I'm looking for a family room. Yeah, for tonight and a couple of more nights. Yeah, the council gave me your number. Yeah, two kids. Hi, I'm looking for a room. Yeah, I was there a few days ago. Yeah, Fingal County Council, Fingal County Council. Yeah, two. Hi, yeah, I'm out of home. Homeless, please check. Money doesn't Money. grow. Please. Beggars can't be choosers. Ignorance is Ign bliss. Out of sight, out of mind. Actions speak louder than words. Hospital was very monotonous back in the day. That was to change in 1969, when Kappa Hospital took in five refugees from the Troubles in Northern Ireland. They were boys between eight and 12 years. I was 10 at the time, with both legs in a, in a cast up to the knees. It was deadly in a wheelchair. Saturday nights, the girls would meet in the boys' ward at midnight to play spin the bottle. With the arrivals of the lads, there was a heightened excitement to our game. We were enthralled and hung on every word they said. We learned how to make petrol bombs and we all agreed they were the bravest lads ever. There was also the added bonus of a kiss. At home, I would play radio with my brother. It involved pretending we were driving a car. Two kitchen chairs and placing our feet against the fireplace was all that was needed. Then all we had to do was push our feet and that enabled us to lift our two legs from the chair off the floor. This was necessary for driving fast and for screeching around corners. There were a lot of sound effects. There were a lot of sound effects needed, most importantly for the driver, as he had to verbalize what we were doing. I hate it when I was enjoying singing a song and Michael would change the station. There was pop, rock or the news. I always use the same news story in the hope I would get either a reaction or an explanation. A gorilla phoned the TV station today and claimed responsibility for the bombing. I would watch Michael out of the corner of my eye. He never looked overly interested or amazed. Usually he just changed the station. I didn't want to seem stupid. But I could not understand why I was the only one on the planet who thought it was amazing that a gorilla could talk. I could visualize him in the phone box making the call. I was told I wouldn't amount to anything. And it's taken me some time to amount. I've amounted to something. I'm still amounting. I'm amounting now. I will keep on amounting. We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Cause your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. 
I remember my new red shoes, dancing down the garden path in bed at night. Sorry, dancing down the garden path. In bed at night, my mom would tell me stories from her life before she and my dad got together. Dancing. She loved it. We can go where we want to, a place where they'll never find. And we can act like we come from out of this world, leave the real one far behind. And we can dance. I can't dance. I can't talk. Only thing about me is the way I walk. We can go where we want to. The night is young and so am I. And we can dress real neat from our hats to our feet and surprise them with our victory cry. One, two, skip a few. All straight and tight and lined up like pencils in a box. A multitude of summer well-worn faces gleaming. Come on, get down here, squeals, shrieks and giggles. I love and attach myself to this precarious band. To the scratchy concrete and warm tar bubbles. A plank of wood pulled over us. Skittish hands touching hands. And here he comes, pedalling like mad. The feel of the wheel, the force of the woods, the exhilaration, the thrill of it. He's made it over you, the afterthought. Maybe I shouldn't. Of course I should. We can act if we want to. If we don't, nobody will. And you can act real rude and totally removed and act like an imbecile. Sliding down the haystacks. Backward tumble off the swing bar, landing on two feet, arms up like an Olympic gymnast. Sliding up and down the floor with me dad's socks on. Playing skipping on the road, lamppost swing. Playing kick the can at night with my brothers and friends. And say, we can dance, we can dance. Everything's out of control. We can dance, we can dance. They're doing it pole to pole. We, we can, can dance, we can well, dance. Everybody, look at your hands. We can dance, we can dance. Everybody's taking the chance. And the safety dance. Oh, yeah, the safety dance. If I can pass the driving test, I can talk and well dance. Where there's a will, there's a way. All good things must come to an end.